So a good start there for Canada, and it's so easy to slip up, isn't it, on the uh, first morning of a tournament, but you can bet your bottom dollar that there will be some f support for the Fijians very early on the first morning, wherever you go across the world in support uh, of uh, their team. And it's going to be an exciting weekend uh, for Fiji, no doubt of that. Fiji against Argentina up next. And uh, Fiji, they shot to the top of the world rankings in Glasgow last weekend with that fantastic cup win. They lead Argentina 37 to 11 in the series, but never mind about that. It's all about today and whether Fiji can clinch uh, the series for just the second time in the uh, World Rugby Sam's history. And Fiji, Ben Ryan, well, he gives a start uh, to uh, Apisai Domolaila here, who scored two tries in that final uh, in Glasgow a week ago. The top point scorer is the captain, Osea Colinisau. And that's the challenge for Argentina, led here by Nicolas Brussone in the absence of Gaston Revol off the bench. Keep an eye out uh, for one or two exciting players in Axel Muller and Santiago Alvarez. So the teams uh, come onto the field of play. Big uh, pure two eye. Uh, the uh, little, well, not uh, so little, the big magician with the offload there, uh, pure two eye, number five, and uh, as ever, commanding center ground. And uh, just offering a little word of prayer. There we are, confirmation that Fiji are now on top of 147 points. Ben Ryan, a nervous Ben Ryan this morning. I spoke to him uh, before uh, uh, proceedings uh, commenced and. Uh, he knows how important this weekend is already qualified of course for the olympic games and i'm not going to complicate things too much but if i say that fiji if they get uh, to the third position here in london then they will probably clinch the series on points difference but ben ryan the former england coach back at the home of english rugby here wants to make a statement he wants to win this one above all else Alex Ruiz from France takes charge of this one, and I'm joined by Carl Tanana in the commentary box here. Carl, it's so easy to slip up, isn't it, on the opening morning? And look, uh, uh, immediately from the kickoff, away goes Franco Sabato. And if you are going to beat Fiji at any time in any tournament, then it's the first tournament on the opening day. No wonder Ben Ryan was nervous. Oh, most definitely. And this Pool A team is very tough. Physically, the Argentinians will go back to their roots, and that's playing physical. Look at that tap down there. It was great work. And then Franco Zapato put himself in perfect position i think it was the number two alvarez tapping that ball down you can't can't get much better than that what a start for argentina well you can expect the unexpected from argentina rebuilding in the santiago gomez cora fernando luna this is the uh, conversion attempt to drift uh, to the right of the upright but look at this oh that is just perfect stuff from the kickoff getting it up nice and high santiago alvarez So a rude awakening early on here for Fiji. Pure Tuai gathers for the aspiring uh, world champions. And again, possession is lost here. Nicolas Brusone. Brusone, a show and go deep into Fijian 22 here. And Argentina. Wow, what a start now then. Let's see what uh, Fiji can do, how they respond. Very competitive at the breakdown these days are the Fijians, but once more, it's going to be an Argentinian try. Surely this time for Secunda Tukulet, and two tries in as many minutes uh, for the South Americans. Oh, they've got their tails up at the moment. When have the lost Pumas Tukulet call for the little kick to it was perfect. You see them here, they rush to go for it, they read it beautifully, they time their run, it pops up nicely. Back to back tries as Fiji and Ting, probably guilty of giving away too many 50 50 balls. So to add the conversion this time from in front of the post, Fernando Luna. Well, Ben Ryan brought out the head right at half time uh, when uh, Fiji trailed uh, New Zealand in that uh, cup final in Glasgow last weekend. There it is perfect there just a different chase uh, different option there from the pumas we all know they can play a bit of football and 
Luna it is to, to restart this time. Kicks to the near side. Colini Sal. Top point scorer on the uh, circuit this year. And the Argentinians are there. They're strong, solid tacklers. And Fiji have not been out of their own 22 in the uh, opening uh, three minutes. Colini Sal. Let's see, Apisai Domalaila, he finds the big guy, Pure 2 eye Stepper, he's not going according to plan here, but fortunately the ball didn't go forward. Argentina looking to counter-ruck here. Can't prevent the ball from coming out, though it goes forward, does it, from uh, Kolinisau. There's danger here once more for the Fijians. As Argentina look to rack up the points, two tries to the good already. And Fiji once more with a backs against the wall. Lovely timed pass there from Santiago Alvarez, the uh, Argentine number two. There he is. Big hits coming in from uh, Tuwai. There's a man over for Argentina on the left. Can't quite work the ball out to him. There's a huge gap over on the narrow side. No hands! To Lidisau. To Cotton Mimbao. This is better now then. Samisoni very, very, he's got pace. Very, very over halfway. Can he go all the way? It's a lung bursting effort uh, from the giant Samisoni very, very. World Rugby Sands Player of the Year, named after the London tournament in 2014, restores a little order to the, uh, to the Fijian attack. They had to come from their own 22. You can see there just the offload, too many numbers in the ruck for the Argentinians and well you're going to give this guy some space there's never going to be stoppers a valiant chase here from Sabato but in the end this guy was always going to have the speed and look at him there go the lungs it's starting to kick in trying to get their second win and he makes it just yeah this is the young man the uh, former Nandi policeman who uh, joined Montpellier uh, after the uh, tournament in London last year but now back in the sevens ranks and looking ahead to uh, Rio de Janeiro, Fiji, of course, have already qualified. That was always my question when I saw on the team list before this one, when with Semi Kunitani's so effective, not only in defence, but also attack, that's where a lot of Fijian tries come from because of his individual brilliance. And with him sitting on the bench, I wondered how they were going to start this game. And well, Argentina, they took that. out restarts palm down there by a piece of domolai six feet four oh, inches tall the fijian number one colin isau to uh, samanatha rawatha vying with semi kunatani for top uh, for a try scorer of the season so let's see how argentina can cope with the pressure Jenny, two eye where's nine look for the silky oh, offloads from a pure two eye this is better from the uh, fijian lovely stuff and they've woken up at last Samanatha Rawatha. That's his 38th try of the season. Oh, movement of the ball from the Fijians at their best. Pio Tuwai. For such a big man, he has some nice touches. The number five for Fiji. Here it is here. Ball in hand, a little skip step. Jerry Tuwai wraps around, but he gets himself back in play. Shakes off to the bench. Watch this little nice cut pass as well. So the kick, the conversion, ties it up at 12 points all as we approach the break. Got to admire it. the way they approach the game. They might look like they're playing off the cup, but it's all calculated passing. Nice switches, they're renowned for that, and then just a little step and go on the outside. Never in doubt. Yeah, despite being down 12 points to nil, there was no panic, was there, in the Fijian ranks. And Ben Ryan this year, he's instilled uh, a belief, uh, some uh, confidence as well. The skill, the innate uh, skills were there in any event. But look at them, how oh, they uh, challenge at the breakdown now. The Fijians back in the hand, 12 points all. As uh, we arrive at uh, half time. So it's uh, even Stevens and the Fiji have clawed their way back into this match. It's tied up at 12 points all at half time. So this could be an interesting uh, talk uh, from Ben Ryan at half-time. Let's 
uh, listen in and hear what he has to say. Always a measured delivery from Ben Ryan. A couple of deep breaths, eh? First, anything from you guys? Come in. Really laboured. We just let when they came, we let them squat, then we just came back up there. For, okay, look, just a couple of things. Just let's go forward a bit more. We're a bit side to side. Um, because they're getting in our passing, our offload, they're trying to get an Argentina players trying to get in between. We've got to fight hard in our to get to our threes quickly, okay? In threes quickly. Make sure we go forward a bit more. And the Talanoe is Lailaya. We need it to be level all weekend. Kerry, Kerry, here. Um, kick off. Here, yeah, let's have a look at trying to push on to ice. Swap over with uh, Sabe. And you have you two here. Let's go for it. Let's go into the middle. Get our post in and go. Good stuff as ever from uh, Ben Ryan. But uh, he's given these players some responsibility and uh, they've responded to the responsibility which he has given them. Yeah, he spoke about getting to their threes quicker. What he's talking about is the ball player. Take it in, have a quick cleaner over the ball in the half back there. Rather than staying wide where Argentina are able to get into those supporting lines and stop those 50-50 passes and bat them back. He said he spoke about kicking the ball right down the middle of the park too. So look for that from this kickoff. Yes, yeah, some uh, young South African supporters there. South Africa, of course, in in the hunt for a, a series win and hoping perhaps that Argentina can do them a favour in this uh, second period. <laughs> so Fiji, oh, what a shocker from Osia Kolinisau! My goodness me, what was that all about? They come straight off the shin. That's what happened there. Not as best when he's blowing up. Calm down, he says. Calm down. Wow. What a shocker. So Argentina have uh, first possession with ball in hand in this uh, second period. Gutsy players from 1 to 12 in the red shirts. Fiji not back to 10 meters, so they'll come again through Santiago Alvarez opening the door. Their lovely angle from Fernando Lunian, just like the first half. Argentina score first. Well, they're just hanging around at the moment. Ah, the Pumas, and you're right, when it was a beautiful line hit by Fernando Luna. Here's where it all started from. Glenn is out trying to go down the middle, gets it terribly wrong twice, and this is the end result. Look at this from outside in, nice little body shift change, hits that outside in angle, defence not there, and wow, game on. Uh, Colin made the uh, the dream team in Glasgow last weekend. It wasn't a dream start for the second half for him, that's for sure. But Fernando Luna, well taken try. And now the big boys come on, Semi Kunitani in Jersey too, for Fiji, he's the go-to man, so both on kickoffs, here he is there. Yeah, keep an eye out for Semi Kunachani. Just saw uh, Isake Katoninbao limp off there. And that's a blow for Fiji on the uh, opening day here as uh, Luna adds a conversion to his own try. I like the attitude of this Argentinian team. Only a young side, but they've got nothing to lose. And the way they've started, they'll just give themselves an opportunity. Nineteen to twelve. Semi Kunatani on for Fiji, and uh, Argentina have also replaced uh, Fernando Luna. This is Seconda to Colette. again, looking for the angle. Has he got the pace? Solid tackle coming in uh, from uh, Samisoni and Miriviri, but they're not the the well-oiled machine that we are familiar with, are they, the Fijians? To Argentina's credit. They're backing themselves, and that's what you have to do. They're making it a physical game. They're making the Fijians tackle them. At the moment, the Fijian guys aren't using their team defense, what they've been so renowned for. Jerry Chuai, young man with number nine on his back. Uh, his first season, and uh, as much talk as to who might be nominated the Rookie of the Year. Uh, that young man is certainly in the mix. Well, I'm interested to see when, how does Argentina stop the comeback from Fiji because you know one's coming how they're going to deal with it Alex Rui is making sure that uh, Santiago Alvarez is within the 15 meters of the back of that line out should the, uh, the ball be overthrown 
Double eye lie. This is big semi Kunatani, and this is what uh, the Toulouse supporters can expect next season. Oh, thank goodness me. Once more, it's pure two eye, and it's all Argentina through Gaston Rival, the captain. It's a, a solid hit. I felt that from up in the grandstand here. Rodrigo Echart, one of the newcomers, an exciting player for Argentina. From the San Isidro Club in Buenos Aires, a famous club in Buenos Aires. Tunatani. Tuai, young Jerry Tuai spins it out left. <laughs> Lovely offload out the back door. Colinisau, this is where he excels. Beats the first man, beats the referee as well. Just about. Pure two eye, just a little show. Colin this out. There's a telepathic understanding between him and Sami Sonny Miri Miri into the Argentinian 22. Well taken try, but all created initially by Osea Colin this out. Fiji looked to be at sixes and sevens for a while there, but once the ball got into Viri Viri's hands, well, the inevitable. 97 tries now for the uh, Fiji number 10. Once again, it's just a passing clinic from the Fijians. Tired defence. The cover on the inside was too late coming across. And Viri Viri just exploits it. But Kulini Sao doing some great work. Ran from left to right, right to left, and then back to the right-hand side just to create the numbers, and that's the end result. So this to tie it up. At uh, 19 points all. With two minutes 30 remaining. Where's the try score? Just got the best seat in the house. <laughs> just been replaced. Yeah. It's difficult, isn't it? Uh, two, uh, two tournaments in succession and to back it up with, uh, for the second week running. Heat offload to Rodrigo Echat up to the Fijian 10 meter line, the close support work. Plenty of men out on the left here for Argentina as uh, they come away through the captain, Gaston Rival. Looks for the neat little chip meant for Axel Muller. Yes. Eight, Another mistake by uh, Fiji. Oh, it was an interesting call to put the kick through from Rival. I think he got away with one here. It wasn't the best kick. He probably Number wanted eight, it to go a little bit deeper, oh, but so. Fiji knocking the ball on. Rating is my job. It's my job. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You talk with me every time. It's my job. Happy with that? Okay, thank you. Alex Ruiz, not happy with the uh, the attitude of the Argentinian captain Gaston Rival. That's my job, he says. Mm, I can just imagine what Gaston Rival told him <laughs> or suggested he might like to do. We're in prime position here to ice this game off here. Win if they can get a clean hook from the scrum, Argentina. Marcos Bolini wears seven for Argentina, a newcomer, oh. just his second tournament, made his debut in Glasgow last weekend, and this could well be a, a famous victory for Argentina, the pass not going to hand that time to Ramiro Moyano. It's all hands to the pump here now as uh, Argentina track back through Germán Schulz. Good work uh, by the replacement, that's Bolini. 19 points all, just over a minute remaining. Who'll break the deadlock? I push the ball, play on. Palm down there by uh, an Argentinian hand, and this could be the decider here. Aminoni, Nasila Sira. Brilliant tackle there. A try saving tackle by Gaston Rival, was it? Well, great defense from both sides here, but Jerry Tua on the outside. Look at that. That is technique personified. Yeah, that was uh, Ramiro Moyano. Limping back to a position on the uh, the near side, on the wing here. Oh, taken out the back by uh, Semi Kunatani. Ball far too long in the air. That floated pass, Kolinisau, Kolinisau. Can he get the pass away? Yes, he can to Rawatha. Rawatha for the corner. Fiji for the win. And there are players out on their feet. Well, it's so tough, as you said, 
second tournament in as many weeks and the Fijians have had to work hard but in the end they'll get the W Argentina at the last just blowing their own line out Semi Kunitani gets it to, to the right hand side Kalina Sal does some great work here on the edge just watch the offload off the deck look at that so tough to defend because the defense has come up and then this guy coming at pace to the Wasa getting his double gets the win for Fiji but only just well, Fiji have won this one right at the death, but they've had to work uh, hard for it. They've trailed in this match on uh, two occasions, 12 to nil at one stage, trailed at the top of the second half. But this is Vatimo Ravuvu. He's been practicing, practicing his kicking this week because that could make all the difference as Fiji look to clinch the title here in London. Not a bad effort. But right at the death, Fiji have won uh, what was certainly uh, potentially a banana skin, as it almost uh, proved to be the case. And uh, yeah, there'll be tough games uh, for those uh, supporters to endure. But for now, Fiji have done what was asked. They've defeated Argentina by 24 points to 19. So we can uh, go down touch side and uh, hear from Chris Cracknell who's the assistant coach to Ben Ryan in the uh, Fijian squad and he's talking with Rupert Cox survived the scare there Chris yeah a little bit we knew Argentina would come out at us and uh, we haven't played him that much this year and their kicking game obviously he proved a proved a good point um, but the boys you know, duck at it for the full 14 minutes and that's a testament to their fitness and that never say die attitude that they've got last year you were running around with the England sevens now you're the forwards coach of Fiji that's exciting. How did that come about? Well, you know, as I don't think in rugby, it's a short career at times, and unfortunately injured my knee, and then um, took a year to rehab, and Ben offered me an opportunity to go out to Fiji and take a bit of a break, and that turned into me helping out with the forwards, and uh, here I am back at Twickenham, uh, you know, 365 days later. Yeah, and you find yourself in a winning position, Fiji, on the series, five points clear of South Africa. How are the boys feeling? Fantastic, you know, they're in, they realise what, what is at stake this weekend and you know, they've just got to make sure they take each game at a time and not get too ahead of themselves to, to the ultimate goal, which is winning the series. So just got to knock off the next game, which is Samoa, and take that and take it as it comes and, uh, you know, just keep building as the weekend goes on. Thanks, Chris. Great to see you back here at Twickenham. Cheers, thank you.